<laughs> right. Now, as businesses struggle and thousands of Coloradans are without jobs, a special session of the state legislature begins tomorrow. Governor Polis called on the session earlier this month to find ways to help because Congress hasn't delivered on another stimulus relief check. Our Michael Abeda is live tonight at the Capitol. And Michael, Colorado lawmakers, they want to help. Yeah, of course they do, Michaela, but even they admit what they can do to help is limited. Colorado State Democrats held a Zoom conference Sunday to outline their plan to help Coloradans who've had their lives upended by the pandemic. The issues they plan to address in this special session are small business aid, child care support, housing assistance, internet access, food bank assistance, utility assistance, and allocating money to the public health response to the virus. Democrats and Republicans say what they can do as state law lawmakers is limited, but they will do the best they can. I think this is going to help. I think it's going to make a dent, but not nearly what um, Washington can deliver. Congress can spend more than it has, and they do on a regular basis. They spend trillions of dollars, I think somewhere in the range of $27.5 trillion now is our national debt, and that's an accumulation of deficit spending in a year spending more than they actually have. Our state constitution prohibits our state legislature from doing that. So we can only allocate or spend the dollars that we actually have. Now this special session is for the specific purpose of helping Coloradans who are struggling through this pandemic. No other legislation will be considered. It is anticipated to be a short one. The regular session will convene in January. At the Capitol, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first.